Broadcasting from Canal High School on Thursday, December 1st. This is your Buck Report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and meetings. For those interested in trying out for baseball in March, when are open gyms begin tonight? Please bring a glove and bat if you have one. We will lift from 4 to 5.30 and then move to baseball workouts from 5.30 to 7. Any questions, please contact Coach Schulte. Ah, the lunchroom. Nothing like some good old R&R. &R. However, while the rest and recuperation is nice, just like the classroom, oneself must commit to success. A healthy, balanced meal is a meal that will provide you the strength to continue throughout your school day, allowing you to perform at the utmost levels of efficiency. So remember, be responsible, understand differences, commit to success, and show respect. Once a buck, always a buck. Good morning, Callie. My name is Nadia, short for Nadia Alex. The Elf is back. I'm here to spread holiday cheer to teach us all a few things about jobs, colleges, kindness, school spirit, and much more. I would love for you to come say hi in the counseling office today and grab a piece of candy. Stay tuned for Robbie throughout the month of December. If you have an idea for me or you would like me to visit your class, email or see Ms. Schreier in the counseling office. This is your Penny Wars update. The seniors are in the lead with 2,828 points. The juniors dropped to negative 129, while the sophomores struggle at negative 1,714. The freshmen are ahead of the underclassmen by a few with negative 1,337 points. All it would take to knock the seniors down is some silver coins in the senior bucket and some pennies in your own. Keep fighting. The war is not over yet. Bring your spare change and bills through tomorrow to help your class win. Good morning, Ken Allen High School. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up here tomorrow, getting ready for this football game. But I wanted to take one moment and talk about something very serious. Tomorrow's football game is happening at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a one-of-a-kind stadium in the nation. And it is dedicated to people who have fought in wars, and some of them gave the ultimate sacrifice and are no longer with us. You will see, as you go into the stadium tomorrow, it is a war memorial as much as it is a stadium. In that regard, it is a place of honor, and we will respect that stadium while we are there. Things we will not do is nobody comes intoxicated and does stupid stuff. We will not bring paint in. We will not bring confetti and things that leave a mess. When we leave, we will pick up our mess and take it with us. This is a place of honor, and I hope that you will respect it as part of America while you are there tomorrow. It's a really, really cool place to have a game. On that note, it is a place that also respects battle. It's a place that respects competition. And so I would expect the Ken Island High School bring their A game to this event. I want it to be loud. I want to be louder than the other side. The community's all pumped. They're all coming. We'll fill a section and be as loud as we can. We certainly will not jump war memorial walls onto the field at the end of the game. However, I spoke to Coach Sofanowski this morning, and he's excited, as are the players, for everybody to be involved in the activity. So at the end of the game, win or lose, they would like to come over with the football team and take a picture with everybody up in the stands behind them. So stick around after the game for a second until they get their award, and they'll come over for the picture. And then we should all head out to the parking lot because Coach Sofanowski is going to bring the whole team out at once, and we'd like to greet them and celebrate their accomplishments this season in the parking lot. Ladies and gentlemen, please respect this place of honor tomorrow, not just because I said so or because it's the right behavior thing to do, because this is a memorial stadium, the only one like it in the nation. Mr. Hardy. What a great place to play. What a great day to have tomorrow. We are 14 and a half miles away. Uh, so we really have the home field advantage, even though we are the visiting team. Uh, what I want to say, a couple of quick things. You must be in school tomorrow to attend the game. So if you don't come to school, you will not be able to get into that stadium. Uh, your ticket's linked to your name. It'll be very easy. But just please come to school. We want you there. I want you plus 10 of your friends to come and root us on tomorrow. But you must come to school. If 1.30, o'clock, you have a family meeting or an appointment, that's okay, we're not asking questions. Only tomorrow, we won't ask questions. Correct, tomorrow, correct. So, go root the Bucks on, let's hope for a victory, but win or lose, we're gonna keep it classy, KI. I can't wait, we're very excited. See you tomorrow. Go Bucks. The Frightfully Fun.
hilarious musical comedy. You shouldn't have. That will raise your spirits, steal your heart, and leave you in stitches. Yeah. The Broadway musical that puts family first. The Adams Family. Have you ever wanted to audition for a theater production? If so, then the Kent Island Drama Department will be holding auditions for our spring production of The Adams Family next week. Now is the time to make it to the stage and be a part of our Kent Island Theater legacy. Whether you have experience or not, consider joining us next week. Prior to auditions, we hold musical workshops where we teach the audition pieces needed for your audition. Students who want to audition must attend the musical workshops held Monday, December 5th and Tuesday, December 6th. And while you are encouraged to attend both workshop days, you only need to attend one of the dates to audition. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mr. Reagan. Students interested in auditioning for our spring production of The Adams Family must attend one or both workshop dates on Monday, December 5th and Tuesday, December 6th. Don't miss out on a wonderful opportunity to be a part of our collaborative, wonderful production. Students must bring their student laptops. For questions, please contact Mr. Reagan. Students interested in building the set for our spring production of The Adams Family must attend one or both of the meetings after school Monday on December 5th and Tuesday, December 6th. Students must bring their student laptops. For questions, please contact Mr. Ward. If you're a high school senior and plan to major in education or intend to be a teacher, you should pay attention. There is a scholarship that will help you fund your next four years of schooling. The Queen Anne's County Retired School Personnel Association is rewarding two seniors from Ken Island and Queen Anne's $1,500 scholarships to help with your school. To do this, you must have a 3.0 GPA, education major, counselor and teacher recommendation, and a letter from you why you deserve it. By April 15th, any questions, contact Ms. Tomey. This is a reminder for any and all students who received an email from the school stating they are eligible for their Carson scholarship. Your application is due tomorrow. Spend an evening listening to jazz music while supporting our KIHS band program. On Tuesday, December 6th, anyone who dines at Ramshead from 4 to 10 p.m. and mentions the band will send 20% of their bill to the band program. The jazz band will be performing between 6 to 9. We hope to see you there. That's all the time we have today. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.